Bloody hell. <laughs> Talk about crushed under the weight. In my defence, they're not all my suits, because I've bought some for my wife, and some for the cameraman, and some for myself. But I think you could safely say I've got a bit of a bee suit fetish. I had a number one bee suit here somewhere, that my first one that I ever bought. That's my lovely wife's bee suit. Now that's got a little bit of a problem because the flap doesn't quite seal up. They forgot to put the Velcro bit on that bit. And so she came down to help me with the girls one night and they ran up a bee suit up the back of her neck, inside her hat. And that didn't end well. It's never been back on. So that's why it's still nice and clean because it never got worn again. There was such excitement. So we'll put that one over there. Oh, God. Where the hell? Now we got suits and suits. Oh, here we go. This was the first one I ever bought. I don't think it's still got the hood on it anymore. And that was just like the overall, just the normal sorts of overalls, cotton overalls. And of course, you get onto an angry beehive and the jolly things just sting straight through that. So then I had to wear it and then I started wearing a long sleeve shirt underneath that. So that I wouldn't get stung so badly, but of course you try that when it's 48 degrees and see how you get on. So that got not so good. And then I thought, ah, oh, cool, I'll get some of these air venturing machines. And then some have little short ass zip. I think this one was, I don't know, there's a few to pick from, but this is, uh, yes, I reckon. This is the one that doesn't allow for your manly bits <laughs> if you try to bend over, which is a bit awkward. <laughs> and what else have we got here? Uh, oh, that's, yes, that's another one that wasn't, that's not, they're not too bad. They're the ones I have been wearing. I quite like them, that was the Arna ones. They're quite good. Oh, Struth, how many bee suits the wife says? I tell you what, I go in all, I don't, <laughs> I've been in her wardrobe, walk in wardrobe and said, how many shoes do you need? Tell you what, you have a look at this lot, you'll say, how many bloody bee suits does a bloke need? Anyway, the cool thing is, there's these wicked ass manufacturers over there in England, and they sent me a suit to have a crack at, so, and I thought well, that was, a, as you can see, I had a few bee suits to spare, but I thought it was pretty cool, because they're actually, a BB wear suit, so I figured, well, there you go, it's almost a Bush B man suit. So check this shit out, all the way from Europe. And it's got this crazy cool foamy bit, so when you can, I don't know, whenever it gets cold over there in England, you'd think it would, but anyway, it's gonna be pretty cool here anyway, because it's got a nice little bit. I don't know if you can zoom in and have a look, but it's kind of like a crisscross foam, so you've got a spongy, spongy foam in the middle of the two layers. So if the ladies can sing you through that, well, they'd be pretty aggressive, I reckon. So just to be sure, all of these suits here I paid for, and so that's all good, and there's nothing wrong with that. But these guys actually sent me this to try out, so I thought I'd better give them a shout out, because it's pretty bloody cool too, and what's more. But we'll see if we like it. I know it's got that. Hold on the thing, Reggie. But anyway, we'll give it a crack. Oh. Ready and action! <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what, I feel like a beekeeper. Anyway, after all that excitement, we might just go and check out this little hive in the backyard, since I've got my hat on. <laughs> anyway, I figured since I've gone to all the trouble of getting on this cool new bee suit, we come out here and we'll rescue these poor tyre bees. So if you're wondering what's going on here, these girls were living in this tyre. And of course, they'd made their home around the rim of the tyre and in the middle of the tyre and oh my God. And so doing a cutout <laughs> seemed to be a bit of a problem. So I've thought, well, perhaps if I sit them on top of a bee box, they might just move out. They didn't, have, they didn't actually move out completely, so I did a bit of a cutout. But they, they were all still around the border of the tyre. And I thought, well, if I go trying to get them out of there, I'll do them a damage. So I've sat them on top of the bee box and I'm hoping that they've run out of the blooming tire and started living this down here. But I've forgotten to bring a lid just in case that's the case when we pull it apart. So just wait a minute. That feels really quite good because all the, the thick spongy stuff doesn't go all the way down to your ankles. It's like just the nice light cotton around the top of your ankles when you're moving. So it's all that, you know, the heavier sponge doesn't go all the way down. Hey, there's plenty of pockets as well. <laughs> the last 
at the service station the other day he said, oh, it's nice to hear a bloke whistle, a happy whistle. And I thought, oh, hadn't even thought about it, whether I was whistling or not. But anyway, that was kind of cool. Right, let's see what we can find, shall we? You like my lid? That's off the old copper. <laughs> I thought that worked pretty good. Oh, man, not that, uh, not that this is the recommended retail, but... Oh, they haven't built. They haven't built back on the top here again. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have a look. Ta -ta. Let's see what we've got going on here, shall we? Oh, it looks like they've moved down. And, they, and the moths are upstairs, so we've got to time this very well. So they were all living inside here, and so I thought, well, how the hell is a bloke going to get them out of that tire? So I cut the, they had it all in front here as well, so I cut that bit out and I popped them down there, but I didn't know where the Jolly Queen was. But we're gonna find out how much of a trouble I've got them into. I'll just pop that out of the way. Oh, God, that's heavy. <laughs> Get rid of that before we make a mess. These bags were just my packing so that I could keep them all a bit cozied up. Hopefully they're not too cranky. They were a little bit psycho when I pulled their house apart, as you can imagine. Get rid of these moths. So I think we're just here in time. Pull this one up over here, I think. No, we won't. <laughs> That's not good. That might be needing a replacement frame. That's all that. We'll find out in a minute. What is all that? It's a bit of... Oh, there's just... A <laughs> oh, it's a bit of muck down there from the tyre, all the stuff's falling down. So it's a bit of a problem. But at least they're not really angry yet, so that's good. <laughs> These little ladies come out of sunset country. They had a swarm call and got... By the time I got there, the swarm had gone. And then the dear lady said, Oh, well, out the back in the tyre, we've got a blooming beehive. So, oh, man. Because it was a... Decent old drive, and they didn't want to keep them. And you know, obviously, they were going to get rid of them or kill them or get someone to kill them. So, well, I can't have that anyway. That's <laughs> hence why I inherited a tire full of bees, which is a bit and crazy. Hopefully, they have a boss. I haven't seen any eggs yet, but anyway. Oh, no, no, oh, no, that's still honey. Nice and gentle here. Oh, cool. That looks all right. And we'll just get, oh shit, don't bump anybody. <laughs> like I said, they had, they had anger issues. But then maybe I'd have anger issues if someone tore my house to bits too. I've really only bred on this one frame. But still, that's better than nothing. Where are you, Captain? Where's the chieftain? She's still laying a few little larvae here. I mean, you don't want them breeding too much this time of year anyway. Chew back in there nice and gently. We might have been coming here just in time. There's a little bit of crap on the ground from the tire. I wonder where the boss is. There's a few more babies there, so that's good. So they're still trying to keep on keeping on. Oh, look at that, made a little wing. Look at that. It's the dangling power of bees. <laughs> Have a look at that. Hold on, Ethel! Hold on! Don't do it! <laughs> if you're when it's back horizontal, they're here all trying to build into this little section, so they're all just nuggling each other. Which is kind of cool, isn't it? Awesome. Well, they're looking like they're all right, I think. We'll just clean up a bit of this excitement in the bottom of their home. So we don't get too it. If they don't get too angry with us, get out of there. We just got one more frame, and then we'll have a look at what's going on with the extra bit across there. Yeah, they're starting to get a bit excited. <laughs> all right, just pretend we're not here. Just go about your business. Nothing to see here. Just take it easy. It's all good. Just have a little bit of breakfast. And have a nice cup of tea and some scones and just ignore us. You won't have to bother. We're not even doing anything. Nothing's happening. <laughs> That's what they used to say. Nothing to see here. <laughs> oh, help. Oh, I reckon that looks pretty good. We'll get rid of these. I reckon we'll get rid of these two old frames. Uh, they don't have to worry about trying to keep them tidy. Make sure we don't have any wax moths, which is enemy number one of old stuff. I reckon we'll chuck them out. We don't want to keep them anyway. So we've got a little bit more crap going on in the 
bottom here will pull up and then we should be all good. We'll go and get a couple of new frames. I'll be happy with that considering considering what mess I had before. I think we might have just got here in time to get rid of this because there was moths breeding in the tyre that the girls had moved and left and the crap has been falling down into their home. So if we didn't do anything about this and we'd come back at the end of winter, I reckon we might have just had a box full of moths. So it might have been very timely, I think. I'll just go and get myself some new frames. And we'll pop these in the get cleaned pile <laughs> with the rest of the muck we're doing at the minute. And then we'll put these girls to bed and get the hell out of it. Sunshine Country Bees. No, is it Sunshine Country? I think that's what the name of the national park where they were next to. <laughs> we'll pop their lid on. <sighs> and hopefully they survive the winter. I like my new suit. I'll see how much I, how much I try it out. Oh, I feel all privileged, I do. Anyway, thanks for coming along. We'll see you next time. Mm. Shit, that's right. Don't forget to subscribe. Click the like button and the share button and I don't know, whatever button you're meant to push. Make sure you get it out for the news on the street that the Bush Bee Man's worth watching. And if you want to get some products, head over to the Bush Bee Company website and check that shit out. The wife's been a busy little Vegemite.